Béres Miklós vagyok, színész, de jelenleg itt az aréna falain belül, mint egy riporter vagyok jelen, egy állinterjú sorozatot csinálunk. Azt beszéltük, hogy meg fogjuk viccelni a srácokat, és mindenféle abszurd kérdést összehortunk, hogy, hogy kiderüljön, hogy hogy reagálnak ezekre éles helyzetben. Annyit mondtuk nekik, annyit tudnak, hogy egy helyi sport weblap első interjú sorozata készül, egy viszonylag kevésbé rutinos riporterrel. Nézzük meg, hogy misül ki belőle. So, uh, Andrés, you're... Um, you're, sw- you're Swedish. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I'm okay. Swedish. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm a bit confused because I wanted to start the interview with a handshake, and uh, they they okay. told me that uh, because of the picture it can. So can we do? Okay. A we can do it like this yeah. for sure. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, nice to meet <laughs> me. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit anxious because I I've never done a, okay. a, 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 an interview with such a major player. Oh, thank you. And thank uh, you. no, no, you are you're very very. Good. I mean, I mean, I've been watching the training just now no, and okay, and. Okay. and uh, And uh, and you're good. Thank you. And you um, <laughs> I, I, I I kind of have an eye for 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 this. Uh, are you you excited too? To uh, for uh, for the handball or the training or the interview for, uh, or, 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 or any any of these topics? Yeah, of course. It's uh, this is this is our life. So it's yeah, okay. Uh, okay. It's a little bit in the in the normal standard of our lives. And, mm-hmm. uh, but mm-hmm. of course, it's always nice to. To sit in this setting with flowers and everything, so it's uh, it's a nice experience for sure. Okay, okay, and for because for 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 the handball as well, you have started to to prepare for the match for uh, with the uh, with Ferenc Varos, right? Exactly. Yeah. You have already started. Yeah, we started today. Too started today. too early to do that. No, Or? it's two days until game, so okay. we have two, two trainings. Two so it's uh, it's mm. acor- according to plan. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you do you usually start? Uh, Uh, preparing against a certain team on on two two days before the match or or or, or on the, on the day is it too late? Uh, no, it's too late. Okay. Uh, okay. Usually we have two or three days we prepare mm-hmm. for a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually because we play every every fourth day. Usually we play or fifth day. So uh-huh. usually we usually have three or four four days or practices to to know the team and to make the defense uh-huh. and attack as well. Uh huh. And so so you you know them. Yeah, have... I've been we've been playing against each other for a long time also. Long time. And mm-hmm. Some players is is playing also coming from this team that in West Brom played here before. So ah, uh, so you you played against each other, and yeah, now you yeah. play together. No, we played with to get to, with uh, each other, and mm-hmm. now we play against each other. So. Okay, okay, yeah. now you play against. It's better because the other way around you would would have. You would hate each other, and it's it's a no. It's of a, course not. It's a, it's it's friendly, you know, with humble. So it's. Uh, but it's a serious business. For I mean, sure, handball. for sure, it's serious um, business. Of course, okay. it's. Uh, and it's it's very good that you brought up that that it, this is your life because uh, I want this interview to show really the human side of yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, of, for sure. of uh, yeah. handball players because you're human, as well. I yeah, mean, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I yeah. mean it's it, it sounds funny, but uh, yeah. for us, for 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 normal people, you. you You uh, you seem very uh, very very distant. Very we 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 usually see you on on TV. Yeah, yeah. And then that's, uh, that's that's very strange for us to meet to meet you or meet one of you. And uh, because because I because of this, I want to ask some also some personal yeah. personal questions, yeah. not too deep, but 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 some some personal questions. Uh, because um, first of all, I I, I uh, there, there's a funny thing I, I heard. Uh, Yeah. For, for the question first. Yeah. What yeah. would you be if you weren't a, a handball player? What? Something in is... inside the police force. Police force. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard because uh, I, I heard that uh, you always you always wanted to be a, a police. Have, have you tried being a policeman for a week or two? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. I don't think it's so easy to just be a policeman uh, to go there one week. But uh, yeah, but you can you can tr- you can try without without wearing a uniform just to do something good. I mean, uh-huh. not, 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 you're doing <laughs> good things. Yeah. I mean, handball, handball uh, is good. Sports. Are, yeah. No. Are good. No. No. Uh, I've been only a professional player since I started uh, mm-hmm. uh, my work life, so say. Okay. Okay. Uh, before I was in school, and uh, then after directly, I went to the professional side of handball. So okay. I, I never, I never tried it before or okay. something else, but. Uh, but you still can, still, still yeah, can try. Yeah, theoretically, yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, Would you consider staying in Hungary after you you're finished with, with handball, the professional side of your career? Maybe it's not impossible, mm-hmm. but uh, I think, 
I think my wife has more saying than I do okay. in this, uh, in this question. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. probably she will. Uh, she wants to go home to Sweden to make her career uh -huh. going in work. Uh -huh. So I think uh, probably we will leave for Sweden. Yeah, okay, when and I'm, so when you, I'm... you can be a policeman there. Yeah, hopefully it's uh -huh. something I can strive for at least. Okay, okay, but 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 I, I think you're uh, you're also uh, uh, well prepared if uh, if you want to be a policeman. I mean physically. You're, you're, you could you could do something. Uh, you catch. You run fast. I saw that. Yeah, you can run okay, fast. Okay, but can, yeah, <laughs> you could catch. Yeah, f physically, I don't think people. it's uh, should yeah, not I mean, be a problem. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. in Hungary, it could be yeah. because of the lang language. Yeah, maybe, for sure, for sure. But, but yeah, can sure. you say a few things? Yeah, it's but not if, a lot. If, if you want to be a policeman, I mean, yeah. there's a. I know it's called rendersäg. That's the only thing I know. Uh, excuse me. It's rendersäg. Huh? Render. That, render that's right. Sake. But yeah. what the, what the render says? Yeah. If 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 you want to arrest somebody, can you can you try? Le, no idea. Uh -huh. Can you say? This is very good. Ah, okay, that, that, that could be very frightening <laughs> if, if, if you if you say it behind a certain person uh -huh, okay. who's, who's done something wrong. Ah, okay. Because, uh, um, okay. Just. I did a I did a little research and uh, I figured that uh, I don't know if, if you know it but uh, you have scored in your life I mean at matches and on trainings and uh -huh. special events uh, altogether you scored uh, 8472 goals oh, yeah oh, yeah sure. that's that's a, that's a big that's a big number uh, which one uh, is the most memorable one I of, these, of these, uh, 8, of these, of these eight thousand goals. Oh, I have no idea. Actually, no, but, 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 I, I might think that, uh, that, of course, that's a lot. That's a lot. But, but there has to be one that stands out. I mean, where, where, where did it happen? Who, who did you score it to? What were you thinking when, when you, when you were? Okay, let's. If you take one goal, um, I mm. scored one goal in the Olympic final, for example. Olympic so final. I can, I can say this one. It's a special goal. Just sure. one goal at the Olympic final. Oof, I don't know. I don't remember. It was you back in remember. 2012, so it's a long time 2012. ago. 2012 against uh, uh, France. France. Yeah, France. But we, we, we were, you were playing with Hungary, four years earlier. No. No. I played for Sweden. No, no, no. Against mm. Hungary. I mean. Against Hungary. Yeah, we played in. Um, what was it? Semi-final against Hungary. Okay, and you yeah. were there. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, you yeah. you you beat you we, beat Hungary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did we beat them in semi-finals and then we played against France? Did you did you score against Hungary? I think so. Yeah. And you were already playing in Hungary for for. No, for... then at that time I was playing in Germany. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay yeah. I understand. I understand. Understand. So there was no special feeling about. No. No. Hungary. Nothing. But when nothing. when you think back for that goal, would you? Do you regret scoring against Hungary? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's uh, it play, I play for Sweden national team and I play mm. against Hungary. Then it doesn't matter if uh -huh. I play play for my country, not for for Hungary. So it's then I absolutely mm. don't regret it for sure. Not. Yeah, I, I make sense. Yeah. It, it, it makes sense. I mean, I mean, I mean, but certainly you have some some some, some very very good. Uh, Career decisions in your life. You 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 started in Sweden. Yeah. Then yeah. you went to to, to Germany. To Germany. Yeah. And then now here in mm -hmm. West Bram. And this is a. I mean, this fact that you have made such a good uh, such good career decisions that implies that you're. Uh, I mean, you must generally have a certain kind of uh, intelligence towards life. Uh, that, uh, that that you 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 know what's what and and, and things things of course because things like that we are professional sportsmen so we mm -hmm. have our of course our, our field is handball for sure and trainings and this and then but we have also our personal lives we had pretty a lot of time with traveling and going in yeah. the bus airplane mm -hmm. so there is also mm -hmm. a lot of time for to educate yourself yeah, or of course. to of course. to do whatever you want to I don't know to explore for example Hungary if you're living in Germany exploring we have time for that also so mm -hmm. it's you get I think you get a little bit more knowledge of uh, especially for West Bram and here we, we we in my family we go travel around Hungary a little bit and this also to explore a little bit so okay okay but I, I mean just getting back to the the question that generally I, I think that you you made very good decisions uh, um, choosing uh, Choosing uh, teams. I mean, of course, you, you chose Sweden national squad. 
there was a natural decision you, you being Swedish yeah okay you, you cannot choose if you want to play in the team you get chosen but uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, of course if you if you're playing good and uh, show mm -hmm. yourself on uh, on the, in your team that you're playing for maybe they will call you and I've been I've been playing for the national team in I don't know how long 12 years 12 years now yeah 12 mm -hmm. years in national team okay. so Apparently, I did did something right. So yeah, of they, course. They that's, that's, yeah. that's what that's yeah. that's what I think, and, yeah. and, and, and it really shows. And uh, that's that's why I that's kind of a it's kind of a personal question that I mentioned that, that I want to ask you that uh, if you if you have any career advice for uh, maybe for 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 a hair, hairdresser. <laughs> for a hairdresser. I mean, my, <laughs> no, no, no. it's related in a way. My, my my wife is, is a, hairdresser, a hairdresser. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. do you think uh, do you think it's it's better to to be on your own, or join a team, join join a join a company? And uh... I think that's you know in handball you cannot be alone. For example, uh -huh, uh -huh. this is a team sport, and you have to be a team player, and you have to be staying humble and in front of like twenty guys, like we are in the team. And then you have mm -hmm. the coaches, you have the, the staff as well, 20. from physio and massage guys and everything. Uh -huh. So, you know, and also this organization that we have is, you know, it's everyone, every club try to make it as familiar as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if, you know, this not single life, but uh, you cannot be on your own. But I mean, to, uh, these days, you could, uh, there, there, there's a lot of sportsmen in the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, small, the young youngsters yeah. who are trying to make it on YouTube, just, you know, yeah, throwing okay. balls and, yeah, yeah. and dumpsters and yeah, uh, yeah. trying to hit things from distance and then putting it on, on the internet, yeah. things like that. So you can, you can, you can do it alone. I mean, you yeah. can, you can be a handball player alone. No, for sure you can, but still, if you want to be in a successful team or a mm. big club, it's also not easy to do it alone. Of course, you have to train on your own. Mm -hmm. to, to reach the level, to come into a, to a good team or a good uh, franchise or what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, then, then you have to prepare yourself, for sure, to do your own thing. But you're still in a team, so you always mm -hmm. have to be a team player as well. Yes. And I, people I've... helping you. Of course, and yeah. th th that must be very helpful. Yeah. I mean, emotionally yeah. as well. For sure, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. There is everything. It's yeah, because physically, I, I... emotionally, uh, mentally, everything is yeah, coming yeah. to play. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought because I... Yeah. I, I uh, I realized that uh, you you score you score a lot of goals, yeah. and when you score or just right before you score you, you fell on the ground, on the ground you, yeah, you fall yeah. you fall yeah. down and, and yeah. it, it doesn't it hurt? Yeah, sometimes it hurts. It can I, I mean sometimes when I watch it on, on TV it really yeah. it has a bad sound to it and and and, and, and my, my my little daughter you know uh -huh. she, she she runs around all the time she she falls uh -huh. she trips and she uh -huh. she starts she starts crying. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean. Uh, um, right away, but 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 you don't you don't cry. Uh, no, not 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 about for this, of course not. Fall. But also this is also a technique that you learn how mm -hmm. to fall and not to hurt yourself. And of course, handball is a physical sport, uh -huh. so you 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 gotta get hurt. It's part of, of the game. Of course. Uh, so I I I I get it. I mean, it yeah. mu it must be the the adrenaline that yeah, of comes also. from the match, that, so you don't cry immediately. But but yeah. after in the dressing room, you you burst out in tears. In, no, that I wouldn't say. No, no, of course, no. I didn't see any guy actually burst into tears. But of course, you can have pain. You have mm. a sore body. You have bruises. You have uh, maybe one finger goes out of oh. you know the joint or something. But uh, I think you know it's. I think handball is pretty tough, uh -huh. and I think also the the guys who plays it are also tough so so you, you 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 more like hold it, the emotions in okay the, you... the emotions yeah for sure we maybe we're not showing so much of our personal emotions mm -hmm. uh, it's more about uh, the emotion about the team and everything when we come in there but of course people has pain it's yeah it's normal mm -hmm. because it's a physical sport but yeah, of course, uh, of course. Uh, we tend not to to show it too much and uh -huh. Uh -huh. complain about it also. Yeah, yeah. And, and what what do you what do you what do you recommend to uh, to a person who who fall who who you know who falls on the ground? What what how to how to keep it? How to land soft. That's right. Yeah. That, I mean, also emotionally. 
how, how to emotion. keep it in, how to be no, tough. This this is also part of the game. Mm. Uh, this uh, I think from the young age you fall down with handball directly also, and you I think you learn to cope with it and also uh -huh. to uh, to to how to say um, how to how to land in a good position in, in that uh -huh. way or, or in a bad position. It's handball is a little bit like this. We are not laying down so much. Or, yeah, that's right. So we go up and. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't say down? No, you, not, too, not too much. Um, okay, if you fall and this, but we're not, we're a little bit tough, so we go up and mm. run again. So yeah. it's just continue to be toughen up a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so you would recommend everybody to, to be, be stronger emotionally, to, to tough, toughen up, as you say? Yeah, but I think you learn it directly when you come. When you start handball, it's, you, you get this mental, mentality directly, I think. And you see it also on the... And with the trainers and with the other other kids as well, I think you uh -huh. you you come into this, uh, uh, say group, and you see the dynamics mm. of it, and you think I think you just go with the flow mm. a little bit. Yeah, I, I think I should. I should also try. This because it, 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 sometimes it it's strange for me. I, I yeah. can't really hold the emotions back yeah, okay. as much as you can, but but. Uh, I don't know if, if we have time. Yeah. Right, because you, you, you came came in a bit early. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm I'm confused about <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> about time. I mean just uh -huh, okay, you, about you time. Came, I was, yeah, um, no, uh, we we got uh, that we come after the training and go up. Yeah, and, and you, you, you change very quickly. Yeah, yeah. That's what I heard yeah. about you that you change very quickly. Yeah. Have yeah. you all, always changed? Quickly? Yeah, I know. Some some days I'm the last one. Sometimes I'm the first one. Uh, mm. A little bit depends. Okay. How yeah. uh, how how normal life is treating you, and yeah. Okay. That's it. I I, I was asking you uh, to close it down. I was asking you about your goal in the at the Olympics against Hungary, and uh, you know I still feel very. Um, I wouldn't say I'm angry at you. It just it's a bad memory for me. When for, you, when, for sure, for sure. When uh, you scored, so if if you could if you could I mean retrospectively you could say I'm sorry for that goal. Just it would not happen. Just for 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 for, for my viewers. Just no, I cannot say sorry because I play for my country. I cannot say sorry that I'm doing a goal for my country. It's not possible. Then uh, maybe it's not, not not a good word. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, would you say? Uh, um, like, uh, it's, I regret scoring. Also not. Also not. Oh. Then. Uh, then something positive to 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 end uh, this for sure at for least sure. to to say uh, you 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 all, all you, you hear the word hoira a lot yeah, yeah. okay yeah. okay yeah. okay so so you could you could say maybe hoira magyarok magyarok is hungarian yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. hoira magyarok and uh, and just say that i don't regret scoring against you you could say I don't feel so comfortable saying that actually. It's, it's. I know that Hyra Hungary. It's, it's, it's for you. It's not for me. It's. I'm Swedish, and mm. I think if I will not say it, actually. And so I can say Hyra Vesprem. It's no problem. Okay, because so it's my, we can my try club. this. Hyra Magyarok. Hyra Magyarok. Can you say? I can say Hyra Magyarok. Very good. And I don't regret scoring. I don't forget. That, that, that's, yeah. that's good. That's yeah. good. That's, yeah. good. that's yeah. good because we can learn oh, okay. from from it a lot. I mean, we can learn from Swedish people a lot. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. So, um, I really don't know how much time we have left, but uh, I think I just yeah, yeah. Finish, take it down if you finish. If you up. have no questions, and, nothing. Uh, it's... No, I, I have I have uh, a lot of questions written down, but. <clears throat> but and anyway, uh, just thank you for, for, for coming in. For sure, it's no and, problem. And uh, once again, yeah, I, I, hope, sure. 
I hope it, it's, no problem. It's, uh, Thank it you so much. It was an honor for me. Yeah, for and sure. just for you to know, uh, this this uh, this this wasn't a real interview. This was a fake one. This was just a prank on you. Yeah. So it was so. I mean, <laughs> I was trying not to put no, so much. I, actually, I was thinking. I was thinking, no, it cannot be this bad. And I was thinking, okay, he's there with me because I was looking at them also all the time and. Oh. No. Okay. I, I knew it. I was thinking, what can I say to the other guys now? It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's their idea. Yeah. It's their idea. I'm, I'm really, really sincerely sorry about it. <laughs> Thank you once again. Thank you, man. Thank you.